My previous tutorial was based on how to monitor an airlock sensor using only Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the Blink application. The disadvantage of using only Node MCU is that you can monitor only one analog sensor. As in Node MCU, we have only one analog pin A0. There are situations when we need to monitor multiple analog sensors, but the question is how we can monitor multiple analog sensors as Node MCU has only one analog pin A0. Well, my friends, at this point, we have two options. Number one, we can use a multiplexer with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and connect multiple analog sensors. Number two, we can use Arduino Uno Omega with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and connect to multiple sensors. The first option involves a lot of coding, wiring and its overall price increases above the price of Arduino Uno Omega and you will find a lot of videos on this but personally I didn't like this while the second option is really easy you don't need heavy coding you can connect many sensors as you want so my choice is the second option so in today's episode you will learn how to monitor multiple analog sensors using node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with Arduino Omega and Blink application so let's get started the components that we will be needing for this project are number one, Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Number two, five by seven centimeter Vero board. Number three, four seventy microfarad capacitors. We will need two of these. Number four, female DC socket. Number five, seven eight zero five voltage regulator. First leg is the input, middle one is the ground, and the third one is the output. Number 6, LED. The longer leg is the node and the shorter one is the cathode. Number 7, 330 ohm resistor. Number 8, female headers. Number 9, variable resistor. I have already connected some jumper wires so that it can be easily connected with node MCU. And number 10, LDR, which stands for light dependent resistor. The components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This project is based on my previous two tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi board and how to download and use the Blink library and how to fix the USB UART driver error. While in this tutorial, you will learn how to make a power supply for Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so that it can be easily powered up using a 12-volt adopter or battery. The tutorial links are given in the description. So this is the final circuit that we will be using today. Let's have a look at the complete circuit diagram. This is the complete circuit diagram of the multiple analog sensors monitoring using Node MCU, Arduino, Uno Omega and Blink application. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. The power supply is already explained in my previous tutorial. You can use this power supply to power the Arduino by connecting its output with the VN pin of the Arduino. But I will connect a 12 volt adopter directly with Arduino and I will power up node MCU using the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. As you can see the Arduino's 5 volt is connected with VN pin of the node MCU and the ground is connected with ground. All the grounds are connected. A variable resistor is connected with a 0 pin of the Arduino and 5 volt to this variable resistor is given through pin 4 of the Arduino. An LDR is connected in series with a 10k resistor which makes a voltage divider and is connected with a one pin of the Arduino. The TX and RX pins of the Node MCU are connected with pin 2 and pin 3 of the Arduino. So the Node MCU will communicate serially with Arduino Uno through pin 2 and pin 3. Pin 2 is the RX and pin 3 is the TX which will be defined in the programming using the software serial library. That's it. Now let's make a blank application. First of all, open the Blink application. Set the project name is uh, Multiple Sensors. Click on the Choose Device and select Node MCU. 
Make sure you set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Then click on the create button and authentication token will be sent on your email ID which will be then used in programming. Simply copy and paste it in programming. Click on the screen and in the display section select a value display to edit. Click and hold for a while to change its position and size. Set the title as a variable register. Click on the pin and select a virtual and then select V2. Click on push and select one second. And change the font size. Now repeat the same steps for second value display. Our basic application setup is completed. Now let's discuss the Arduino and Node MCU programs. First of all, let's discuss the Arduino programming. Hash includes software serial.h. This is the library that will be used for making a serial port on pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. Using software serial library, we can define multiple serial ports. Software serial node MCU 2, 3, 2 is the RX and 3 is the TX. Integer sensor 1 is equal to A0. Variable resistor is connected with A0 pin of the Arduino. Integer sensor 2 is equal to A1. And LGR is connected with A1 pin of the Arduino. Integer sensor 3 is equal to A2. Over here you can connect any other sensor but I will be using two sensors which are the variable resistor and an LGR. These are the three variables of the type integer which will be used for sorting the sensor's data. Integer S data 1 is equal to 0. Sensor 1 data which is a variable resistor. Integer S data 2 is equal to 0. Sensor 2 data which is an LDR. Integer S data 3 is equal to 0. Sensor 3 data which can be any other sensor. String C data. C data is a variable of the type string which will be used to store the complete message consisting of the sensor's values. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the wide setup and wide loop functions. Wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Serial.begin9600 activates the serial communication at the baud rate 9600. This will be used for the debugging purposes. Note MCU.begin9600. Pin mode is a function and it takes two arguments as the input, the pin number or pin name and the status which can be input or output. As we will be monitoring these sensors so that's why we set it to input. Pin mode sensor 1 input. Pin mode sensor 2 input. Pin mode sensor 3 input. Then starts a wide loop function. We simply read the sensors using analog read function and store the data in variables is data 1 is data 2 and is data 3. Then we add all the sensors uh, values and store it in a variable C data. C data is equal to C data plus S data 1 plus then double quotes and there is a comma plus S data 2 again there is a comma plus S data 3 comma will be used as a delimiter. Serial dot print LNC data this instruction is used for debugging purposes to see the results on serial monitor. Node MCU dot print LNC data. This instruction is used to send sensors values to node MCU. 
delay 2000 delay of 2 seconds is 2000 milliseconds equal to 2 seconds C data equals to an empty message this instruction simply empty the C data variable now let's discuss the node MCU programming before you start the node MCU programming first of all make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the node MCU board and you also install a driver for the USB UART I have a separate video on this the link is given in the description hdefine blink underscore print serial this will be used for the serial communication this is the authentication number which was sent via email I simply copied and pasted over here this is the name of your Wi-Fi and this is the password simple timer timer string my string my string is a variable of the type string which will be used to store the complete message from Arduino which consists of the census data character or data will be used to, to store the received characters integer of first value second value third value sensor values will be stored in these variables this function sends Arduino's uptime every second to virtual pin 1 in the app which its reading frequency should be set to push this means that you define how often to send data to blank application white my timer event you can send any value at any time please don't send more than 10 values per second blink dot virtual write v1 comma millis divided by 1000 when we divide the milliseconds by 1000 we get seconds we are using 1000 because 1000 milliseconds equal to one second unlike Arduino Uno and Mega Node MCU has also at least two functions which are wide setup and wide loop wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments is the input serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication at baud rate of 9600 blink dot begin authorization SSID and password set of functions to be called every second timer dot set interval 1000 sensor value 1 timer dot set interval 1000 sensor value 2 sensor value 1 and sensor value 2 are user defined functions which are called every one second we can change this time the number of these functions depends on the number of sensors we are using then starts a wide loop function if serial dot available greater than zero this means if we have received a data from Arduino then what to do our data is equal to serial dot read read the serial port and store the character and our data my string is equal to my string plus our data this instruction means add the received character with my string and store it in my string now this conditions make sure that we have received the entire message then we simply divide the entire message into three strings L M and N we are using comma is a separator string L is equal to get a value my string comma and zero string M is equal to get a value my string then there is a comma and one string N is equal to get value my string comma and then there is two zero one and two represent the three sensor values that we are receiving from the Arduino then these three instructions are used to convert these strings to integers and store the values in variables first value second value and third value my string is equal to an empty message this instruction is used to empty the string these are user defined functions and we simply use these uh, functions to send values to blink application as you can see the first value is stored in s data and then the s data is sent through blink dot virtual write function to the virtual pin v2 and similarly for the other function this is a user defined function of the type string and it takes three arguments as the input the data separator and index this function is used to split the string 
now we are done with the programming i have already uploaded these programs now let's watch this project in action i'm using the breadboard only for the 5 volt and ground connections later i added two gauges and selected the same virtual pins v2 and v3 so this way you can also display the values on gauges As you can see how easily we can send sensors values from Arduino to Node MCU and then from Node MCU to the Blink application. In upcoming tutorial, I will show you how to make a two-way communication system using Node MCU, Arduino and Blink application so that you can monitor and control at the same time. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and... Thanks for watching.